Aha! It's me again, Ismail Abdul Haq. All good. Reading from my book, Everyday Islam 365 Days of Living Your Life for Allah. Alhamdulillah. We're on day 24. See yourself as God does. You can get this book on Amazon.com. Just type uh, Everyday Islam 365. And you can get a copy there. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Subscribe and like and share this with someone else. All right. Uh, now we got the preliminaries out the way. Hi, you. Hi, you. Yes, you. you if you seeing this video, you are beautiful. Yes, you are. God made your shape beautiful. Perhaps your body is imperfect or flawed in some way, at least in your mind, yet you're still beautiful. So get over yourself and embrace your inner swag. To do so is to get in touch with the divine. Seeing God, Allah's handiwork, in you, because Allah said in Surah Al Tagabun, or the loss and the gain, He has created the heavens and earth in just proportions and has given you shape and made your shapes beautiful. And to Him is the final goal. That's Quran 64 3. Are you ready to stop colluding with a culture that makes so many of us feel physically inadequate? Say goodbye to your inner critic and take the divine pledge to be kinder to yourself and others because there is nothing more rare nor more beautiful than a person being unapologetically themselves. Being comfortable in their perfect imperfection. So what? You might be black. So what? You might be pale. So what? You don't have big eyes or your eyes are too big or your lips are too thin or too thick. So what? Whatever. You might be a little overweight or you're too skinny. So what? Allah, you're the perfect imperfection. Meditate on that and find that inner beauty. Find your inner swag. That's what I'm trying to tell you. This is the true essence of beauty. Look in the mirror and do some self dawa I call it self dawa calling to the divine. This is a call to be gentle to yourself, to be forgiving to be generous with yourself. The next time you look in the mirror, try to let go of the story that says that you are too fat or too skinny or too pale or too dark, too ashy or too old. Your eyes are too small. Your nose is too big. Just look in the mirror and see your face. See your body with no verdict. When the criticism drops away, what you will see then is just you without the judgment. And that is the first step towards transforming your experiences of the world. Then you can see yourself just as Allah sees you. Beautiful. For he has created the heavens and earth in just portions and has given you shape and made your shapes beautiful. And to him is the final goal. So if Allah sees you as beautiful, just keep in mind, that's who you got to see in the end. All right? Love you and all due respect. Assalamu alaikum rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. That's day 24. See yourself as God Allah sees you. Don't forget to like and subscribe and, and purchase a copy of this book. Peace.